What's up, Internet? Parami nag-iisip na scam lang yung mga reviews sa YouTube. And kami, yung mga channels and yung mga hosts na nagtutulak ng mga products sa inyo, kami yung mga pangunahing scammers. Since kami yung nagsasabi, Uy, ito may RGB. Bilhin mo to. Itong monitor na to, the best tong monitor na to. Walang makakatalo dito para sa price to performance. Itong RGB na to, the clearest RGB you've ever seen in your life. Dude, pare, chong. Bilhin mo rin yan. Now, I can't speak for other channels, but that's not the case for Hardware Sugar. First of all, pag may pinapadala na product, ginagamit talaga namin. So we have a basis for our opinions, for our reviews. Is it good? Is it bad? Sulit ba siya? Malalaman lang namin if we actually use the product for an extended period. And the review just doesn't stop after the camera stop rolling. Because for a lot of the products that got sent to us, we still use them, whether in the shop, or for our own personal use. And I think that adds to our credibility because when we say in a video na, oh, maganda tong product na to, we would use it, even after the video stops rolling, yes, we are still using that product. Naalala ko yung isang influencer na acquaintance ko, not in the tech space, hindi naman siya mahilig sa kape, pero biglang naging endorser ng Nescafe. So for this video, we're taking a look at five products that we received and that we said were pretty great. And then after the review, we kept using them. Nagbago ba opinion namin kasi hindi na nakatutok yung brand or the brand new product feeling has worn off. Stay tuned for the end where I talk about the ROG PG48UQ which I really loved when I reviewed it. Pero pagkatapos na review, I discovered something not so great about it. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. Code. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Our first product is the ROG Cetra True Wireless Earbuds. We reviewed these in June 2022 and I did not know I needed wireless earbuds until ASOS sent these guys over. I now use them every day to listen to podcasts while I'm walking the dog and the sound quality is superb. Battery life is long, fit is comfortable, and they've gotten wet multiple times from heavy rain because I am outside. Madalas na umulan in the afternoon when I walk the dog and they are still just ticking away without any problems. The sound feels encompassing, like it's coming from within your head. Whatever you're listening to sounds like an internal monologue. It's so clear, it's like you're talking to yourself. I have tried a bunch of other wireless earbuds so I can compare the quality and the ROG Cetra are head and shoulders above the rest. The touch controls are great, being able to pause and play with just a tap on the earbud is super useful, especially when you're doing an activity like walking the dog where you need all your hands, whether it's holding the poop plastic or holding the leash or using both hands to stop him from eating something on the road, you really appreciate the touch screen. Those simple tap commands become super useful. I have also used them a lot indoors for watching videos on my laptop. Again, the sound quality is very good. There is an effort at sound compression. So let's say if you hear bullets from the left side, that is echoed in what you're hearing from the earbuds. What I haven't used them for is gaming. And they're supposed to be gaming earbuds, low latency. But I don't really game on my mobile devices, so that is one area that I can't touch. And I didn't touch on it in the original review. I didn't realize how I've grown to rely on them until one day, akala ko nasira na sila. There was only sound coming from one earbud. But fortunately, it turned out to be just a Bluetooth problem, and I was able to figure out how to reconnect both earbuds. Sound quality is again fine. 
But when I thought they were broken, nalungkot talaga ako. And I was like, oh, paano na yan? Ano nagagamitin ko? I don't know if I want to listen to my podcast anymore if I don't get to use the ROG Cetra. So, I still use them up to today. On to another peripheral which we reviewed in August 2022. This was actually a sponsored review, so we got paid to say nice but true things about this mouse. But we got paid a long time ago, so why are we still talking about it? Because for a cheap mouse, it is pretty good. One design element I really liked was that it comes with a compartment for the receiver, and that alone is super smart, makes it a lot harder to lose that little dongle or receiver which you need to use the mouse wirelessly. Performance is good, not gonna lie, I don't use it for gaming, but my wife uses it every day. Now, my wife is not super techy, so the equipment that she uses needs to be reliable and simple. Otherwise, ako yung malalagot kasi ako yung mag-aayos. And so I'm happy to report that she uses this mouse every day and there have been zero complaints and I have not had to troubleshoot it at all. Even aesthetically, it looks pretty good, I think. You have blue with trims of white and yellow. So this is a cheap mouse and you don't expect much from a cheap mouse, but this really hit the spot. Quality product and quality build because this has been dropped many times by my children and it is still working. A lot sturdier and a lot better for value than you might initially think. After we reviewed the Sharkoon SGS40 last June 2021, we sent it to the shop where basically someone's butt has been in that chair in the shop every day since then. And it has stood the test of time well. The cushioning is still firm, it hasn't flattened out, there are no tears in the fabric. The fabric itself is a nice shade of grey which means hindi ganun kahalata yung dirt. And it does look pretty clean even after more than two years. Personally, I find it too big. I feel like a child when I'm inside it. But too much extra space is a nice problem to have in a chair, so I don't think that's much cause for complaint. Gaming chairs get a bad rap as branded generics, meaning that there are so many chair models available. A lot of them look very similar, so it's very easy for any brand to basically slap their logo on a chair and call it their gaming chair without any improvements, without any enhancements, without providing any value aside from their logo. But the Sharkoon is not like that. It doesn't feel generic. The quality doesn't feel generic. After two years, it's still going strong. It's still comfortable. And there hasn't been noticeable weathering or aging, which you sometimes see in a lot of the other gaming chairs. This item is cheating because it's Noctua and everybody knows that Noctua is quality through and through. Kahit ilang taon yan, kahit ilang dekada yan. If your hardware is Noctua, it will probably still keep running. In fact, we recently released a video where we tried 8-year-old Noctua thermal paste. Spoiler alert, the performance was still very good. Wild talaga yung Noctua. I included this Redux cooler though because it's the budget line of Noctua. It's in gray instead of the usual Noctua brown, and the pricing is more entry level. But just because it's entry level doesn't mean Noctua skipped on the quality. We reviewed this June 2021, and since then we've been using it in the shop for test benches, lending it out to customers when they need an extra air cooler for a short period of time. And now, it is in my own personal rig, cooling my Ryzen 7 3700X with only one fan. I haven't experienced any thermal throttling, no issues with the performance of the CPU cooler, and really, Noctua is one of those buy-and-forget brands. Buy the product, install it, and then forget about it because for the rest of the natural life of your computer, the Noctua will just keep taking away. So I love this monitor so much that it's become a running gag on the channel for every live stream to count how many times I mentioned the ROG PG48UQ. Kung magkasunog sa bahay, knock on wood, I'll probably run and save the monitor first. Balikan ko na lang yung wife ko, kids ko, and pets last. Asus did send us this monitor for review but I did not get to keep it. I returned it after the review period. But I couldn't get it out of my head. Ang ganda kasi ng quality niya. This was the first time I got to try an OLED monitor. The colors were so vibrant. Anything that you do with it, gaming, watching videos, even normal work, it just sucks you in. So after having experienced it, I just couldn't go back to any other monitor. So I patiently waited and I bought one for myself. But as with any long-term relationship, it's not always chocolate and roses. 
The PG48UQ has a serious problem which I did not experience with the test unit that got sent to me. I do experience it on the unit that I bought for myself. And that problem is, randomly, although roughly around the 4 hour mark or past that, if it has been running continuously, the screen just goes blank. Black screen. My PC hasn't crashed because my other monitors still have display. I can still hear whatever it was I was doing, whether a video or a game. So everything is still running. The monitor, for whatever reason, just crapped out. Once the screen goes black, you can't send any physical commands to the monitors. So the usual controls, they don't work. You can't turn it on and off via the switch. You can wait it out and roughly after 15 minutes or so, it will respond again to physical button commands. Or if you can't wait that long, you can manually unplug it, plug it back in, and then it will respond to physical button commands again. Now a random black screen, if you're just doing Excel or something, is fine. It gives you a short break. But if you're playing or in an online meeting or class, that is death. Especially if you don't have other monitors hooked up to your computer. The first time this happened to me, I thought it was just me. So I changed the electrical socket I was using. I updated firmware, but none of the solutions I could think of were working. Until I noticed that somebody had left a comment in the review video that we did describing the exact same problem. So mine is not the only unit that does this. There is a noticeable percentage of users that have described the same thing. I have asked the distributor where I got this monitor if anybody else, their other customers have reported any problems. Wala naman daw. Now, I haven't made a follow-up review or a full-blown video about this because I haven't done full testing yet. I am not confident that I can replicate the error or the problem on demand. And I'm not really interested in doing just a complaint video. What I would like to be able to do is to isolate what causes this problem and do we have any potential workarounds or solutions. That being said, you might be wondering why I haven't returned the monitor. And I have two reasons. One, because it still fits my needs. I am very rarely on the computer straight for four to five hours. So the random black screen of death is not death for me, just an annoyance. Although very recently, I was playing Fortnite, the screen went blank, and my teammates had to cover me while I scrambled to get it up. So it has happened to me while gaming. Yes, it is annoying. But in the general course of my day, it doesn't impact me so often that I've gotten fed up with it. But if you're into super marathon gaming sessions or just really need the monitor on 24-7, this would be a serious concern. And reason two, because the quality of the display is just so darn good. I still love the ROG PG48UQ even with its flaws. The build quality, well, except for the random black screen of death, is pretty good too. I've been using it for around 9 months now and there is not a single dead pixel on it. Although to be fair, I am very fanatical about turning it off when I'm not using my computer. So I'm really trying as much as possible to lessen the amount of time it's on. So when it's on, as background for these videos, a little part of me dies. To be honest, I am more worried about my desk. It seems to be sagging from the weight. I worry about the longevity of my desk rather than the longevity of the monitor. I wanted to end with the ROG PG48UQ because this is something I was deeply impressed with when I got to try it. Basically, in the review, I said, if you can stomach the price, then you should get this monitor. It will change your life. That was my honest opinion then, and this is my honest opinion now after having gotten a different unit of the same model and after having gotten to spend more time with it and discovering issues which did not crop up with the review unit. And I think before anything else, that's what reviewers, whether on YouTube or some other platform, honest to their audience. Yes, it would be nice if they're technically competent, knowledgeable, good-looking, eloquent, easy to understand, hardworking. All of those things would be great. But the number one thing I look for in people whose opinion I trust and respect is honesty. And that's what we try to do when we review at Hardware Sugar. Whether the cameras are on and off, the work we put into actually testing the items, and our recommendations to you are based on our honest opinions. Hindi po kami scammer. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. 
kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.